This is a new Holy Land Cosmo M7 wireless monitor. Welcome to the Cinema 5D virtual show, our virtual replacement for NAB and Fotokina and probably a lot more uh, shows that were supposed to happen this year, but might not happen. Um, on my call today, I have Lawrence from Holy Land. How are you? Hey, everyone. I'm doing good. Uh, we are really excited about this one. Glad that you, you guys come up with uh, this opportunity you know, to, uh, to show others uh, or give, us, give others an uh, opportunity you know, to, in the industry to know about you know, what's really going on right now with the quarantine and everything. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's our pleasure. And I think that's our responsibility as an online medium. You know, like we are the ones that can keep running like normal in a way, but still we have to adjust. And I think uh, the world is not stopping because, you know, everybody has to work from home. Uh, new products are still being released and people have interesting stories to tell. But let's get on to the, to the product we're talking about. You recently announced a, a wireless monitor called the Cosmo M7. Can you explain to me what it is and show it to me maybe? Yeah, this is, uh, I've got uh, the product here, right here. So it's a wireless uh, monitor. Uh, it comes with a lot of cool features, as you can see, uh, you know, the, hand, the wooden handles and uh, touch screen. It uh, has a lot of features, not many buttons, but you can customize them even. So you can, you know, set them to the, the, the most frequently used uh, features. Okay, what's the target user for this monitor and uh, what does it set apart? How is it set apart from other products? Because of course, there are a lot of, a lot of monitors in the industry available for cameras right now. So what sets this uh, seven inch wireless monitor apart from the others is uh, a seven inch uh, 1500 nit Hibernus touchscreen wireless monitor. It's no compression and uh, no latency. It supports channel scan, so you can find out, uh, you know, what's the best channel to use, which is the one, you know, with the, with, uh, which is clean, you know, on set, because uh, you know there are a lot of uncertainties when you're on set. So by this feature, you can actually check which channel is is clean, so you can use it. It supports uh, all professional monitoring features uh, such as focus assist, adjustable intensity, exposure assistance. Uh, pseudo color, zebra, HDR, waveform, vector, histogram, 3D lot, time code, you know, a lot of other features, you know, all for uh, professional monitoring. What's the, what's the resolution of the screen? It's uh, 1080p. Uh, another thing is like it's compatible with all our Cosmo products. So whether you're a, you have a Cosmo 600, 500, uh, 1000, 1200 or Cosmo 2000, you can all use uh, this wireless monitor to pair with a, with a transmitter. Can you use any third party uh, products to transmit into the monitor or is it only with Holy Land uh, our, um, transmitters? So as uh, mentioned earlier, it is compatible with all our Cosmo series of products. Uh, but uh, for other brands, uh, for right now, that uh, unfortunately that it doesn't support uh, support pairing, so it cannot work with other brands' uh, wireless transmission systems. What does it actually come with? Like, what's what's part of the package in terms of um, you know? What, does it come with the handles, or the, are they extra purchase and so on? Yeah, uh, let me actually show you the case. I have the case here. So it's a pretty uh, professional case that we've got here. You've got the. Uh, you know, the cable here and also this one. This is a, this is a, a neck uh, strap that you can use to hand on your neck. It also comes with a, with a hoop that you can use on the, on, the, on the wireless monitor. So when you are outside, you can, you know, it gives you better uh, feature for that. What, what connectors does it have? Like if I don't want to use it wirelessly, what can I connect into it with, uh, with a cable? Uh, this one actually doesn't come with uh, any uh, cable uh, connectors so, or, or options. So it's, uh, it's all wireless. You only, you only need to, like all you can do is uh, connect it wirelessly. Uh, it does have a 3.5 millimeter you know, audio interface. So you can, when, you, when you are, when the director is uh, monitoring, monitoring the, uh, 
uh, you know, the real time feed, uh, they can, uh, he can use it to monitor, to, you know, to actually hear what is being recorded on the camera. Uh, the battery plate at the back, uh, what, what are the different battery plates? Can you use it with different uh, battery standards? Yeah, for now, we only have it uh, for MPF uh, L series batteries. I don't know about the future, but uh, probably we will come with, uh, with a gold mount or V mount. That, that would be great because a lot of people, of course, I mean, you always have V mounts on set usually and, and all gold mounts. So it'd be nice to have that option and usually it doesn't add a lot of cost. Um, yeah, how long would you say one runs? Like if it's a wireless only monitor, um, if you put in, you know, an average uh, NPF battery or two of them, how long do you think it can, can run on one, one set of batteries? Uh, with two uh, NPF batteries, like an NPF uh, uh, 970, let's say, uh, it's going to last about four hours. So last but not least, we already talked about how it ties in with your transmitters and everything. So the last question that's left for me is pricing and availability. This one, we set the price uh, $2,999, right? And for availability, uh, we've sent some uh, units out to the market already. Uh, but for you know, for, for the market, uh, we're going to, uh, I think for now that we are ready uh, by the end of this month, by the end of May. Great. Looking forward to reviewing it. I think it uh, looks like a very nice solution. Uh, Not a problem. Everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more videos from our virtual show, more interviews with manufacturers about new products, but also a lot of interviews with filmmakers uh, who are stuck at home like many of us right now and have time to chat about our industry and their work. So please stay tuned and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.